Lucky, lucky us today, my friends. That's right, I got my buddy Joel with me and we're gonna talk package one, package one, how they might be able to help you. But first, let's talk about the education side of things. We know we all need it. We know we're trying to reduce this labor shortage and we're standing in the Gene Haas Center right now and Joel's gonna correct me if I'm wrong, like all my interviews go. Sometimes I do make mistakes, but it's quite fun to learn the real truths about what's going on. Package One has hired 32 people directly from the school, with Joel being the first one at the company directly hired from the school. Why do I bring that up? I bring that up because when we're talking about a labor shortage, when we're talking about where we want our careers to go, if you're a young man or woman right now, even an older generation that's looking to switch jobs, there are opportunities in engineering and manufacturing all over the place. But like I sometimes do, I don't want to steal Joel's thunder. So let's talk about Joel and Package One. You graduated from this school we're standing in right now and then added 31 others directly from this school we're in, right? In uh, 2001, I graduated from Hudson Valley Community College, but it was the building next door, and it didn't hold a candle to this place because the technology that's in this room, and I've had people tell me, is more, more technology than in some third world countries. <laughs> Your marketing guy is from South Africa, right? Yes, and quite yes. literally walked into this building and was blown away, even emotionally, with what was going on here. You could tell he had a moment when he just stood and took it all in and he said, Joel, Th this, th there's more technology here than most countries have. And, and to me, that kind of hit home because it's just normal to me, but most people don't have access to this type of technology. And to get it at such a young age and to be able to have your whole career in front of you with this in your background, it's, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And knowing, talking with you and talking with Package One and having 31 others, 32 including yourself, where do you think the real successes come when a, a person like yourself can go straight into a job and straight into work after studying at an institute like this. When you come to a place like the Gene Haas facility here, you've got access to basically every type of machine tool that's used in the industry. And that gives you the opportunity to kind of hone in on the skill that you want to develop. Not everybody's going to be a machinist. You might want to be a, you know, a programmer. You might want to be an engineer. You might want to be a, a quality guy. But you get all of that here, and, and to have all of that under one roof and, and to be able to pick a skill that you want to hone in on, to me, that, that is what makes the difference in a building like this. And how does that translate into Package One? How do you guys utilize all those skills? So at Package One, it's kind of a unique manufacturing environment because we require our guys to not only be CNC machinists, but they're also programmers, they're setup guys, they're, they're basically engineers because they have to take a 3D solid model and generate tool paths to that model and then load those tool paths into the machine tool, make the product and inspect it. Well, personally, I've already pulled up your website, so I know a lot about your company and what a cool company it is, but let's share what you guys do with the audience. Okay, so Package One Manufacturing is an OEM supplier to uh, power generation companies, oil and gas companies, defense companies, aerospace, and uh, you know anybody that comes through the door, if they have a product that needs to be made, our engineering team and machinist team can help that product be made. And so going through your website, I've also noticed that you have hundreds of thousands, or maybe millions, but there's a large number on the main part of the site that talks about how many completed jobs successfully. Talk a little bit about that, if you don't mind, because you're somewhat of a fairly young company. When you started around, what, 2006, six, seven around that time? We started in 2007, and it was myself, another graduate from Hudson Valley, and two uh, veteran machinists from a former company that we worked at. And uh, we realized real quickly that, you know, we were growing pretty, pretty fast and we needed help. And uh, Dave Larkin from the, well, from Hudson Valley at the time, now it's the Gene Haas Center, he contacted us and asked if we needed help. And I said yes. And uh, I also said that, you know, if he ever needed help, I, I would like to be an adjunct instructor. And the funny thing about that is about two weeks later, he called me and said, you got a job. And then I'm thinking, oh my God, now I actually have to do this. You know, <laughs> I, was, I was nervous. I, I, I'd, I'd never really taught in a college environment or anything. I mean, I'd, I'd help people at work and I'd shown people how to do things. But, you know, Dave, he, he really helped me my first year here. And, you know, he walked me through and, and we had a, a great year and it was a capstone year. So we, the students were all working on a project that Dave had assigned. And he just, you know, he walked me through it and helped me become you know what I am today as far as an instructor and a, a shop manager and an incredible person you left well, that part you. out I, 
I, I don't want to brag. <laughs> well, very well done. So we've gone over the education, how much it's important, how it's helped improve your company, just being able to funnel them right in. I'm yeah. sure with the labor shortage right now, there are so many companies that wish they had that direct pipeline as yeah. well. We've talked about what you guys do a little bit also. So if someone wants to follow up with you, Joel, and learn more about your company, what's the website? Where can they look you up? How can they find you? You can go on the web at uh, p1ind.com and check us out. I've got a QR code that I can give you that you can put at the end of this and they can scan. And uh, it's got a lot of videos. We're trying to do more uh, social media posts, just little quick shots of what we do so that if it sparks your interest, you can look at it and see what we're all about. We have a, an application right online, so you can fill out your application, submit it to our HR department, and we'll get in touch with you. That was, there you have it, folks. I mean, this is Joel doing better than me at my own job. Perhaps he's going to take on two or three jobs at this point. We'll, we'll bring him on to MTD. What do you think? Let's do it. <laughs> I, I don't know what my wife will say about that. but So much travel, but we love it, and we love bringing this technology to you, these companies to you, and these people to you. MTDCNC.com, thank you all for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next time.